Hello, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to a brand new video. And in today's video, I'm going to be showcasing Taz Marauder. It's actually pretty good. This guy is level 41 and it's got 156 attack and 143 speed with 10% boosts and equipment, candy headphones, dusty bandana, potted cactus, with lethal ornament, that'll do a lot. It's a six star hidden trait, it's hidden trait, the doodle can't be lowered. If a doodle's attacks would be lowered, boost their attack instead. It is pretty broken if you if you ask me. I don't know though. I'm I'm not a massive PvP person. But I wanna start getting into it. So how are you all today? Hope you guys are having an amazing day. My name is Blaze and today we're showcasing Tasmarauda. Let's just get straight into it. So here's our first battle. What I'm gonna be using today is Death Dog, six star hidden trait. Bonbon, bon, which is my hat tricks with runestone, uh, magical attack and speed. Then we've got Sapphire, the Seam Knight, health and attack. Caffeine, the, tad to the Tadapole evolution, Fruitoad, health and magic attack. And then Salami, the Melty Maw, attack and speed. So, we're, so, it seems like they've got a pretty solid team. Um... We can kill most of the bug. We can kill all the bug types with salami. So I say, I'm gonna lead salami because. Oh, I didn't. Okay. What if we swap to fruitoid? Unless, yeah, swap to fruitoid. Okay. So caffeine is gonna come out. It's gonna do some solid damage. We can always take out if we need to. Earth uh, surge so ain't gonna do too much to us. We use rust. Okay, they're gonna swap. That's what I was thinking they'd do. Pretty solid damage for a not amazing move. Take it out now. Let's see if it special works. No, it don't work. Not right now. Oh, that's strong. Okay, I didn't know that that was super effective. Okay, okay, okay. So if we can go to salami now. It's possible that it's quicker. It might not be though. Let's just have a look at Taz's stats at the moment. 188 attack. That is like... That is pretty good. 172 speed. That is also amazing. Um, we'll heat bash here. A sea goddess. Okay. We can go to Hatrix here. And a Runestone Thunderstrike, I think. I think that's what we're gonna do. Hatrix, Runestone, Thunderstrike. Then we'll save Salami for, um. Mainly the Thorn. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this will work. Runestone Thunderstrike, and then we'll be good. This is Spiraliu, yeah. Hmm. Okay. I don't know what we're gonna do about this. We could... What typing is it? I'm pretty sure it's melee type. If we go here and it uses Pursuit... It doesn't use pursuit. Okay. It's not a pursuit then I'm guessing. Retribution? Alright. Okay, okay. Oh it's not. Okay. I say we risk a bone club. Alright, alright, alright. I really hope I don't do too much. Oh I've got okay, we're dead. Alright, so Tasmarauda can do quite a bit of damage when it has lethal. But the problem is it don't have a lot of health. And it's defense. If you use the stuff that I used, it will be lowered. I think I'll swap equipment after this. And, uh, yeah. So that's, like, one issue with it. That's only one issue, though. It's nothing, like... 
it's not a lot that's like mad about it. It's attack and speed is pretty good, but it's just the defensive drops that you have to get it to that attack and defense and speed. So it's it's just the way you have to drop health and defense to get to that is the problem because it can take damage really easily, which is like not very fun. Okay, runestone. That's fine. We should still be able to outspeed this, right? Yeah. Don't do a lot of damage, though. <laughs> okay. That's gonna use, like, a bug move, in it? It's gonna use swarm. Okay. We can... Go... Hattricks again. We're not doing too good this battle. But, uh, if we go Hatrix again, then we should be able to use Thunderstrike against this thing. Or Fireball, Fireball. That's good stuff. Yeah, I, I knew this guy was faster, but it's too... The problem about getting your doodles, your extinct doodles, to highest speed possible is the problem with their defense like this guy's defense actually sucks and its health ain't too high this guy's defense is pretty decent but it's got an amazing move set to carry it with attack and speed so that's like on like one of the only issues so that is they're pretty good extinct doodles are good in pvp it's just the defense drops that you get to get into high attack stats. You can always go defensive, but I, I'd recommend to go attack considering their base power. Okay, maybe that wasn't the best idea, but we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. I didn't know. It, like, I thought it would set up, to be honest. Shadow Luck. That's not gonna kill it, but it's gonna not do any damage. Okay. <laughs> okay, I still need some tips. You guys give me tips. The, the Death Dog Showcase still hasn't been uploaded at the time that I'm recording this, so I haven't seen your guys' tips yet. I will, like, soon. But, um, yeah. I'm just recording this early. So then I have it pre-recorded for later on. Okay, GG's. Alright, let's move on to our next battle. And hopefully we don't have as many things that, like, are super effective against Taz. Okay, I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, so uh, here we are in the next battle. I've stuck with the same team. That's what I've done, but I've changed Seam Knight for Seam Stress. Which has Bonk, Spirit Claws, Daze, and Scissor Guard. It's got used crayons. I don't know if that's the best play or not. I'm guessing it's not. But, um, yeah, we're just going to go with this. Yeah. So, they have hat tricks and stuff. If we... I'm going to lead with Caffeine, then it can take out. If the Espresso hits, that's even better. But, uh, yeah. Okay, this is a problem. Gramanto is pretty strong in PvP. Hmm. Could go... Taz get a Bone Club off. We'll go Taz. Or Crunch. Crunch. That works very well. Because then it has a 20% chance to lower too. There we go. Gromantle down. There we go. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. See, this guy is really good when you know how to use it right. Taz has... Taz Marauder has an amazing attack. And speed stat with the boost and equipment that you use on it it's just getting like stuff that don't counter it like that it easily killed the Grimantle 
just with one crunch with lethal ornament and the stuff. Well, that's a cool skin. The VP skin shop is releasing tomorrow. That will be cool. I gotta save up my VP for that. Uh, all right. So, hmm. I think we're gonna swap here to Salami rather than staying and uh, risk Taz dying. Cause Taz, we need it. We do need it. Use heat bash here. G garlic. So we can swap back into Tadapol. Or Fruitoad, sorry, not Tadapol. I don't know why I'm saying it's pre evolution. But we'll swap back into Caffeine and see what we can do with Caffeine. If Espresso hits, that'll be even better. If we use Rust and Espresso hits, that's incredible. It's really good that we got Decremental out of the game, though. Okay, I think we're gonna take out here. All we'll risk a take out. Yeah, we go. Espresso, that's good. Okay, 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 okay. Um. Then we'll go to Salami. We can tank a leaf blade. It's pretty powerful though. Springing is really powerful. Yeah, the clutch with a. That's ain't gonna kill. Okay, it kills. That's fine. We can go. So it's. Do a careless, right? I'll try it. 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 No, we'll do Malik Rush. See what we can do with this. I don't think it outspeeds. I think. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Now it crash. Then we'll lose health from lethal and see if we can get off one more with death before he dies. We'll see though, we might not be able to. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Fireproof baby. We'll go for Mallet Crush again. I don't think it outspeeds. It might do, though. I've heard that this guy's got a higher speed stat, so I don't know. Oh, it outspeeds. Okay. All right, all right. So we sack him while he don't get an attack off. Who else has a high speed stat? I think we're going to go... We'll go Riley again. And, uh... See if we can get off a bone club. Oh, that's a high attack stat. Or speed stat, sorry. That's a very high speed stat. But there we go. That's good. Riley's dead, but we've still got these guys. I think we're going to go caffeine. We can always take out if it's something that we don't like. Kind of like seamstress. Okay. Well, we'll... Uh, Oh, maybe not. No, we won't. We'll use Rust. Espresso? Nope. Okay, we tank that. Okay, 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 okay. It's good. It's good that we got it out. Then, uh, we can easily deal with, um... Yeah, we'll take out her. Espresso? No. Or well, possibly. Okay, we, we take that. Okay. Take out, knock it out. Go to hat tricks. Uh, kind of cold. There we go. That's a good game. Alright, there we go. That's uh, first win of showcases. I think that was a good game as well. That was a good game. I did very much enjoy that.
just use cone of, cone of cold until it dies, really. But yeah, that was fun. Got clutched. And then again, I would have fruit toad and all so. And I had a full seamstress. You ain't gonna outspeed it. Um, yeah, actually. Unless espresso hit, then. That would have been good. <laughs> yeah, freeze did save me a little bit there. I did get lucky at points. Yeah, that was a good game. I enjoyed that. Alright, next game. Okay, here's our next battle. Okay, this is going to be a bit of a challenge. Our hat tricks can deal with the abyss, and if this guy with Nullify it can probably outspeed an Abyssin, to be honest. But then again, we could use Taz, Taz with Pursuit, depending on its trait. I think if we if he pulls out the Abyssin, we'll go Death. I think I'm going to lead with Caffeine again. I think that's a good play, leading with Caffeine. Because then if it goes into... Ruffling. If we're lucky and we get espresso, I think if if he goes into the Gruffling first, I think we're gonna use a Rust. And then, if that don't do too well, it may kill us. It may not, but then we'll use a take out. So, yeah, it's gonna be cool. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was gonna go Gruffling first. How did I guess? Alright, Rust. If the Espresso activates, that's good. There we go. That's good. Air Terror straight away. Great. Absolutely amazing. I have made a good set for this thing. I made this set myself. I made a good set as well. Hmm. Take out. Tomophobia? Uh, we'll go into this guy again. Yeah, this did get interesting fast. I'll speed that all right in one kill. Yeah, we go. Okay. This is good. This is good. This is good. This Taz showcase is so much fun. Oh, we're gonna go into death. Here. Interesting to scary. Yeah. Especially for him to like Riley. So basically Taz Marauder basically destroys Gramantle. So I do recommend it if you oh okay. Okay, we're dead. <laughs> Alright. Um, we'll go seamstress, and with this we'll use days, I think. Come back thing, magic hammer. I don't know if that was the best choice for this guy. Oh, okay, that's gonna kill us. All right. Hmm. Could go back into Taz, get a bone club off. It's probably not quicker than this, right? It could possibly be. But. A bone club. Oh, wow. That's speedy. Okay. Uh, we'll go you, Salami. It shouldn't be able to kill this. I don't think it will be able to kill this, but it could possibly. It has kind of cold. We live. Okay. We're fine. Alright. So, we're doing okay at the moment. It should have speed, right? There we go. Okay, then we got hat tricks to, to deal with Abyssin and Kelpmere. 
So long we should outspeed this. If we get a defense lowering, then good. We don't. Alright, I just got heal jelly. Okay, you can do that. Anyways, we're going to hat tricks. Okay, this is actually pretty tight. I went really good at the beginning. And then it's gotten really, really evenly matched. Well, maybe not. Yeah. This is like really, really fun to showcase. Okay, that would have been pretty good actually if, if they bar barriered the Taz. But uh, yeah, good game. Thank you for a fun battle. Uh, all right. So I think we're gonna do one more game and then that will wrap it up for, for today's video. Maybe. I don't know. Okay, so this is our final battle. This is against someone who I just found randomly in Social Park because why not? Um, but yeah, basically. I think we're gonna lead Fruitoad again. I think Fruitoad is a good play to lead normally, anyways. Yeah, because then we can take out into Salami and then just destroy Honeydew Fornet. This Honeydew Fornet. Okay, we can take out, can't we? If Espresso works, that'll be even better. Cause... Okay, there we go. That's, that's good, that's good, that's good. Runestone in this early? What? Don't, I don't know. I don't think that's really worth it. I'm not gonna lie. I don't think they should have runestone that early. Because if I can knock it out with Salami, then it's gone for good. They can't get that back. Heat bash. Easy. Unless they could swap her. They probably will swap, I reckon. Oh, they don't. Here's something else, but it does do a lot of damage. It should die there. There we go. It's dead now. Alright, so I reckon they're probably gonna go something like sl Okay. Alright, they've got a sling. That's something. Quick strike? Okay. Could go hat tricks. Runestone. Or seamstress. No. We'll go hat tricks. And we will rune stone because then it gets more speed. And a higher magic attack and it should be able to kill this. Okay, it just kills us. Okay. Um Alright, I think I'm gonna go into what did I use last time? I think I used death. We're well, going to death again. I think we've done careless assault. I think. I could be wrong. Yeah, I think that's that. Sling's done. Okay. Alright, 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 alright. This guy's gonna outspeed this guy anyway, so why don't we just kill this assault again? Okay, maybe that wasn't the right play. Because then this guy is- Oh, he uses Tuffin, okay. That's alright with me, I think. I'll just Mallet Crush. I don't do a lot. 
We can go through toad though. Can't wait. We can. We can always go through toad after. Yeah, I think we're gonna go through toad if espresso works. Amazing. If not, we'll still be fine. But we should be fine anyways. I don't. I don't think there's like a reason why we shouldn't be fine after this. Caffeine? Are you gonna espresso? There we go. Alright, espresso works very well. If I kelp me, yeah, okay. Take out. Plant sap? Why has it got plant sap? I don't know. Why? Why? Explain to me why it has plant sap. Uh, we'll use this guy. I think we'll crunch. Oh no, we're dead here. Alright. I think we're dead. Yeah, we're dead. Okay. Okay, okay. Oh man, I'm kind of screwed here now. Because I'm just going straight in with seamstress. Okay, spirit calls. There we go. This might work. We might still be okay, but I don't know. I don't think we outspeed. I really don't think so. <laughs> I don't want people to go easy. take a screeny now <laughs> okay I'll go over the set again so the set we have I'll follow him up here so what we used was an MHT six star so we have an MHT six star Tasmarauder plus 10 attack plus 10 speed this is level 41 by the way this ain't max level yet moves a bone club crunch toughen and pursuit and then candy headphones, dusty bandana, potted cactus, and lethal ornament. That's what I used. It is really, really good. It's really, really speedy. Um, but yeah, so uh, if you guys did enjoy the showcase, I really hope you guys use this because it can counter. It can counter um, whatever the evolution of Grom is. I can't remember the name for. I have a misprint one, but I just can't remember the name of it. Grimantle. It counters Grimantle so, so easily. Or at least I think it was. Yeah, it was. It was crunch. But, um, yeah. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy, remember to like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. We're trying to hit 2k subs by the end of the year. Give me tips on how to get better at PvP down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, guys. Bye.